welcome to our channel physics for ap so we are at the end of the chapter carbonates compound so till now we have discussed all the physical properties the versatile nature of the carbon so what are the hydrocarbons what are the functional groups homologous series isomerisms nomenclature and we have discussed about the chemical properties in that we have discussed about the combustion reaction oxidation reaction addition reaction and substitution reaction and we have seen about the preparation of alcohol and acetic acid and its uh, physical properties uh, and chemical properties now in this episode we will be uh, seeing how to prepare the ester esterification we call that esterification reaction and uh, we will see how those what are the difference between soaps and detergents and how soaps are being prepared that is the saponification reaction that we will be seeing and we will see the difference between the soap and detergents over here so let's move on to our topic now so esterification reaction that is the preparation of esters so the preparation of esters over here so esterification reaction is nothing but the reaction in which the ethanol and glycyl acetic acid is been mixed up and if with a few drops of H2SO4 to produce an ester which is called as esterification reaction so esterification reaction is the reaction in which the ethanol that is ethyl alcohol and glycyl acetic acid so glycyl acetic acid with a few drops of H2SO4 reacts to form a sweet odor smell a sweet odor smell which is called the ester that the preparation of this ester is called as the esterification reaction and this esterification reaction is a slow process and also it is a reversible reaction it is a reversible reaction now let's see how to prepare the esterification reaction over here so in a in our experiment so we take a test tube so in a test tube we take the solution of uh, 1 ml of ethanol and 1 ml of glycyl acetic acid that is glycyl acetic acid is nothing but little bit cooler acetic acid and a few drops of H2SO4 is taken into the solution into a test tube and the test tube is been warmed with a boiling water so we should not heat it directly we should make it a warm bath so to make a warm bath so we take a beaker of water and kept in a tripod stand and been heated with the help of a Bunsen burner as the water gets heated the warm water gets transferred into the solution which is present in the test tube now in this solution in the, the solution which is present in the test tube we have ethanoic acid that is CH3COOH and ethanol we have an ethanol 1 ml of ethanol that is CH3CH2OH and a few drops of H2S concentrated H2SO4 is added so this concentrated H2SO4 is used to make the reaction here to just is just use it as a catalyst it is just acting like a catalyst over here now after a few minutes that is after as the reaction is slow after a few minutes we get a sweet smell so sweet smell is what we have the ethyl acetate so that is ch3 coo c2 h5 which is called ethyl acetate or also called as the ester we call it as ester plus h2o water molecules has been released out so this reaction is called as the esterification reaction so this is the general formula for the ester so here so r one hydrocarbon here one hydrocarbon and here another hydrocarbon and in the middle we have a carbon double bond o bond o over here which is called as the ester so here now to memorize this equation so no need of getting more get confused over here it's very simple so just you can just modify this equation as if you see this ch3 ch2oh it can be written as c2 h5 oh i as i already told you before it can be written as c2 h5 oh plus acetic acid can be written as ch3 c o o h ch3 c o o h so when it gets combined over here so when these two gets combined with the concentrated h2so4 so water molecules will be removed as the concentrated h2so4 which is acting as a catalyst it makes the solution dehydrate that means the water molecules will be removed out from this 
so when the water molecules are removed out from here what we'll get is as if you see we have OH in this we have OH in this and we have HO here now these two gets combined to get H2O now write down the remaining equation so we have CH3 C O O and combine this C to H5 over here C to H5 this is what we call it as ethyl acetate so this is the simple way to memorize the equation so not only this any chemical equation you just memorize where the compounds are moving on what compounds what atoms are being removed out and how they are being combined that you need to memorize very e it's very easy to write the chemical reaction so everybody think that writing the chemical reaction so it is a very very big headache as the chemistry is a full of equations and it is very difficult to memorize at all no need to get memorized just learn the subject over here what is being removed out so we have concentrated H2SO4 its nature is to remove the water molecules outside as we have discussed it before in our previous we have seen that In the preparation the chemical properties of ethanol that is ethanol when we add a h2so4 the concentrated h2o4 makes the solution as dehydrate that means h2 is been removed out over here the same also when you remove when you add the h2so4 what does it makes it makes the solution dehydrate dehydrate is removing the water molecules outside now you just remove the water molecules outside so in this we have oh and in this we have h now both combined we get as H2O and throw it out and write down the remaining equation so we get as CH3, COO, C2, H5. So here also so we have H in this and we have OH when these two get combined H2O is been removed out and the remaining CH3 COO CH3 COO and this CH3 CH2 can be written as C2 H5 which is called as the ethyl acetate and ethyl acetate is called as the ester so how can you how can you know that the the, the compound which we are having from here the, we get the ethyl acetate is in this chemical reaction as it is a slow reaction after few minutes you will get a sweet smell from this a sweet odor so you get a sweet odor so this sweet odor when it, when we have this sweet odor smell then you need to understand that the ethyl acetate is been formed over here the ethyl acetate has been prepared over here so this is about the esterification reaction so esterification reaction is the reaction in which the ethanol and acetate are combined together in the presence of H2SO4 to form a sweet order a sweet order uh, to form an ester and which this this reaction is called as the esterification reaction and this reaction is a slow process and also it is irreversible sorry it is a reversible that means again this reaction can be converted into again this ethanoic acid and ethanol again it can be converted at all over here it can be separated again so it is a reversible reaction over here so this is about the esterification reaction so definition i'm writing here the process in which ethanol and acetic acid combines in the presence of in the presence of H2SO4 to form sweet order called ester now this is called esterification reaction so this is the definition for the esterification reaction over here 
now i think you got a clear understanding about esterification reactions over here now next move on to the another one which is called the saponification reaction which is the process in which to making a soaps so saponification reaction so saponification reaction is when the fats are treated the fats are treated with the sodium hydroxide and we get the sodium salts of fatty acids as well as glycerol we get glycerol over here so the sodium salt of these fatty acids are nothing but called as the soap formation these are called as the soap formation and this is said to be called as a saponification reaction so you will get a clear understand here now if you see here we have a triesterin which is a fat which is a fat over here and uh, we have ch2o c double bond o bond c17 h35 and which is nothing but we call as the ester and here also ch bond c o double bond o c17 h35 so which is called as the triesterine sterine triesterine which is a fat and when it is been treated with the sodium hydroxide so when it is treated with the sodium hydroxide we get a sodium salts of fatty acids that is this is the sodium salt of fatty acid that is c17 c17 h35 coo which is called the so sodium stearate so sodium stearate and uh, the remaining we get here is the glycerol ch2oh chohh ch2oh which is called as the glycerol and this sodium stearate is the formation of soap and this complete reaction is called as a saponification reaction so don't get me don't memorize the equation just is very simple so as these are all the esters over here so ch2 we have a hydrocarbon and here another hydrocarbon that is c17h35 here also ch here if you see all are same c17h35 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 along with the ester group over here we have an ester group over here and it is been having a, a hydrocarbon in a chain system here ch2 ch ch2 now when we react with the sodium now when we react with the sodium the whole compound that is this whole compound that is c17h35 coo c17h35 coo c17h35coo how many are there 1 2 3 three are there so 3 c17h35coo and we have na over here so na gets combined with this to form na so we get 3 uh, c17h35coo na which is called as sodium stearate which is also called as sodium stearate which is the soap over here and uh, what about the remaining we have oh over here we have oh and this oh is been combined with this ch2 ch ch2 as this part is been removed out the whole part is been removed out and formed as this the sodium stearate and the remaining oh combines with these to form as ch2 ch ch2 oh 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 which is called as glycerol so which is called as a glycerol so this complete reaction is called as a sap uh, saponification reactions and we have some of the sodium salt of higher fatty acids like here which we have the stearic palmitic acid that is c15h31 cooh and stearic acid c17h35 cooh and oleic acid c17 h35 coh now this is about the saponification reaction that is the preparation of a soap that is when the fats are been treated with the sodium hydroxide we get sodium salt of fatty acids and glycerol these sodium salt of fatty acids are being called as the soap formation and this reaction is called as the saponification reaction 
now let's see um, further about the form that is how does a soap molecule form a soap molecule how does a soap molecule form and the cleaning action of soap we will be seeing the cleaning action of soap action of soap and also the detergents so what are called as the detergents and what is the difference between the soap and detergent that will be seeing in a animated video over here now let us see the cleaning action of soaps and detergents so in this module that the objective will learn about how the soap cleans and the difference between a soap and a detergent the so soap is a molecule made up of a long hydro chain hydrocarbon chain which consists of a carboxylic acid and which has been attached with a sodium ion and it has a long chain long tail which is uh, called a non polar and a hydrophobic end and it is not soluble in water it is soluble only in non polar compounds such as oil and the head of the chain which is called the polar and the hydrophilic which is only soluble in water now let us take in cloth with the oil stain it is soaked in soap water now all the soap molecules been attached that is the hydrophobic tail attaches to the oil and the hydrophilic which we attaches to the water now the hydrophobic end towards inside and hydrophilic end towards outside is called a micelle now these hydrophilic and hydrophobic ends combine together to attach out and comes out as a dirt and let us see the difference between the soap and detergent over here now soap are long chain carboxylic acid with the sodium or potassium salts so detergents are long chain carboxylic acids with ammonium or sulfonate salts so let's take a soft water and hot water in a beaker and the soap uh, is easily react with the soft water but when you take in hot water in hot water we have magnesium and calcium ions so when the soap and these ions are mixed together as they are not soluble together they form a precipitate upon it now let us take a experiment upon uh, soap and detergent so in the two beakers we pour the hot water and in one beaker we pour the soap solution and one beaker we pour the detergent and we mix it very well and if you observe carefully the soap water which is in the first uh, form a precipitate and the detergent which is produce a solution which is highly firm over here so let us see the summary what we have learned the long tail like hydrocarbon part of soap is hydrophobic and soluble in oil the short ionic part of the soap is hydrophilic and soluble in water soaps are long chain carboxylic acid with sodium or potassium salts detergents are long chain carboxylic acid with ammonium or sulfonate salts so soaps form insoluble precipitate in hot water so right now thank you for watching please subscribe give a like and a valuable comment and thank you for watching the video